What is going on, my lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? As if this man, this Sadie0802, could not be further placed on, what am I trying to say? Could not dig a deeper hole in regard to my regard for them. <laughs> they go from being arguably the best Izanami player in the game to now playing Celica. So please, Monsieur Valkenhain, kick this b robot girl's ass. Body her business all over this stage. Crush some roses, do whatever you gotta do. That's a good start. Let's go. Love me some Valkenhain, even though he did all that work. All that work. And he did 1,548 damage. Yikes. Sometimes you go too far with damage nerfs, and... Valkenhain is definitely on that list. Valkenhain and Salkako pull. Valk's still a pretty decent character. Far and away from his past dominance, but well, that's gonna win. Still got her. It's good. Good is what I want to see. I love seeing people who switch to characters, and I mean, it's kind of iffy here, right? Like, I would prefer a Celica player, I hate to say this, I would prefer a Celica player over an Izanami player, because Izanami is some bullshit uh, that Celica has never reached in her design. But... Oh no. She ducked under the 5A. That's the problem with using 5A. A lot of characters, um, they go high enough that most characters can crouch under it. Ragna's another example. I mean, this is that's one of Ragna's most common, like, basic setups is whiffing a 5A into a throw because people think they're going to be in block stun. They're not going to be expecting the throw because you just put out a normal. But he's tall enough that most characters crouch underneath it and it just whiffs. Ooh, very nice. I like that. Fake the cross up. Caught him in front. Oh, too far away. Good thing she doesn't get a combo from that. Wow, does not want Celica to get any momentum whatsoever. Did it again, although that one, I don't know if it, he managed to bait out an anti air or what. Oh my god, she lost so much health from that armor. Holy, oh no, he dropped the combo. Nice 6 Hey, I did, would not have thought it would interact like that. That looked very, very strange. I wonder if it clashed like I'm kind of or if the 6a was just so delayed because that happens with armor a lot depending on the kind of move that hits it the move the, uh your character will kind of get stuck in the armor animation for a while that's what I assume happened but it almost looked like that could have clashed and he popped out another 6a I don't really that looked really weird and anyway this is one of the best lychees I recognize the name and Good lychee has always been a very sad time in my life. I've always struggled. I mean, I play Tager, of course I've always struggled against this character, but... A good lychee is scary. Like, the amount of tools that she has and you have to be aware of, I mean... Similarly to being a lychee pl- holy shit, that was a lot of damage. I don't even know what the- ooh, that was a bad DP, but he did not hit confirm properly. Um, because you have to be aware of her entire move set, both with the staff and without it, and unless you kind of put time into playing it, it's difficult to be aware of all of those tools. Because she has what, like five different overheads? Like three with the staff, one or two without? That's always been my biggest struggle, is just being aware of all of her goddamn overheads. Did that cross up? Cause she got hit crouching regardless, but uh, that was actually a cross up. That was pretty nutty. Whiffed the jumping move, gets whiffed, punished. You gotta be careful. Come on, I just said you were the best lychee that I've seen in a while. I need you to live up to that reputation. I can't have it be perceived that I'm over here talking nonsense. I would never do that. Never before have I spoken in ignorance. <laughs> oh, 
Go, okay. Oh, it doesn't confirm it. I don't even know if she can confirm that into a combo. It looked like it, but he may have also just late teched. Lychee's corner combos just never ending. Good DP. Get some miniature hit confirmed. Did the same setup, caught her again. Like, I don't think she's getting hit for real by these. I think she's just trying to do shit. But right there, she definitely got whiff punished. Oh my god, almost lost the route in the same exact way. She would've, if she had been hit again, like if he had put out the 5C like he did last round, she would've died. He could've overdrive canceled it and just free kill. You gotta be careful with that spacing. All right, takes the round. Still got an opportunity for redemption. Oh, doesn't even get the TRM, but doesn't tech the purple throw. That hurts. Bro, counter interessante. Crossed up his input, I have to assume that was supposed to be a DP, and then just gets bodied by Ice Car anyway. <laughs> that is a damn shame. I'd be quite angry. Good any one hit right now by either of them is gonna be the end of the round. I have to assume. Overdrive, yeah. Now all she gotta do is finish it. This is all on her. She fucked it up! She fucked it up again! Oh, good lord. Oh, this just got tense. That was a free win, and it just got tense! Like she had the free win, and she mucked it up! Come on! This is what I get. This is what I get. Every time I talk somebody up, every time I try to spread some hype, they fail me. They fail me. Jubei's a shit character that doesn't deserve to be in this game. Now fail, make those words fail me, Jubei. Shit. I don't even care anymore. God damn it. I'm almost out of water. This is the worst day of my life. Damn. Ooh, that threw that crossed up. She was blocking high that entire time. That was a free 2B. One of his best, probably his best poke. Okay, yeah, yeah. It really sucks. Like, his his drive is so useful when it's not powered up. Because it's basically like, it's actually really useful as a neutral tool. And as a whiff punish tool. Just overall has so many uses, so many applications. And then you exchange that when you power up into this mode for a combo tool and really nothing else. Okay. He just gets caught mashing. I wonder if he could have gotten a full hit confirmed for that. Oh. Speaking of getting caught mashing, that was a late overdrive. That was a bad decision. How much damage did she give? This feels like a move that she's going to get a lot of damage from. This is approaching 4k really quickly. And gets caught rolling. Don't roll in the corner against a Marakamo unit. You know how easy that is to catch? What is wrong with you? I set you up in everything, man. You had every opportunity for success at your fingertips, and you're mucking it all up. Damn it! That is a disadvantage to his overhead. Similar to some others. Well, it feels like that's slow enough that he should get a confirm off of it, but regardless. I don't know why they kind of... Arc system works in general. Try to go for the instant overhead, but Lambda Chicken blocked it. Um, I don't know why they kind of distance themselves in the design of the game away from uh, confirmable overheads. And there are still many characters that have them, but some characters they just... Like, for instance, Jin's. His is actually fast enough that it kind of makes sense that you should require meter to confirm it. Hakuman's is another one. I think Hakuman's 6B is the fastest overhead in the game, if I remember correctly. Like, those make sense. They're very fast. But Jubei's? His sucks. <laughs> You should be able to confirm that shit. 
I guess it does fatal counter. I don't know why that would matter. It just does it. Damn it. Has to use the burst. Yeah, Jubei has all the resources in the world to avoid that. It's caught overhead. Damn, you can't be letting that happen. At that range, there are no lows to be scared of. You cannot be caught overhead like that. Loses the round for it. All right, fine. I'm just not going to commit to anything. I am just not going to make any statements whatsoever. I'm done. I'm done. Tanger's a shit character. Prove me wrong. You can't prove me wrong. It's impossible. They even gave him the Temkin's color palette so he can cosplay being a better character. Although I guess, honestly, in their most recent respective games, Tager has been a better character overall than Potemkin is in Xard. But you want to talk about history? Accent Core Potemkin is a nightmare. If he holds it, nope. That can catch some people unawares. There's really no reason for it to. I believe the invulnerability lasts long enough that you can hop out of it, or obviously you can just do exceed excel like Hazuma. Oh! Does he know the combo? Okay, he's doing the bitch version. But I mean the bitch version still. I mean, look at his damage. <laughs> it's okay to do the bitch version when you still hit 4.6k. Or is that 4.7? God damn! But you can get over 5k if you do the real version. But it is online, and like it's it's not an easy combo to do regardless. It requires a very precisely timed 6A, which is definitely not... It's frustrating to try to hit that consistently, so I understand why you would go for the easier... Ooh, caught him! Caught him! This was cross-tag battle. He could have just gotten a standing 720. I still can't believe they gave him that. It's just some bullshit. There's a reason why moves like that require a 720 motion. <laughs> Ooh, yep. Yeah. I don't think he can do anything if he doesn't follow up a chain. I think he's stuck until... I think he, there's a landing recovery. Why would you even bother getting finger? You just try to hit him with something. Like a 5B or something to punish the no tech. Like, don't go for the gadget finger. It's such a useless move. Oh, nice hit confirming the Jayako. That's gonna hurt. Yikes. Gonna hit 4K. Doesn't finish it though. I wonder if that's intentional against it. Because there are a lot of setups like that that are very tagged. Got him again! Rapid cancel, put him in the corner. Nope. Just gets caught jumping. Come on, man. Oh, he's dead. All the mistakes in the world by this Hazuma just did not play that well. But yeah, I I, I wonder if not get taking the knockdown there is actually intentional because there are a lot of characters that do stuff like that that are very Tager specific because he has basically no options in the air. He can't dash away from it. He can't double jump to delay his ground tech. I guess he could throw out Crimson Punisher. I don't know really how that works when you tech. How it affects your downward momentum. But yeah, ultimately he's just so helpless in the air that it might be intentional to do that. I wonder if that was intentional. Susano's got some silly shit. <laughs> He's got some really silly shit. Now, I wonder if he's hitting in the air like that. No. Yes? Really? Is that fast? Because it wasn't a counter hit, so it wasn't like he recovered and then tried to hit another button or anything like that. Like, is it really that fast? I need to look at that. Like that whiff punish though. Two way. It's a two way. I don't look the overhead. 
it confirmed uses the meter to get more unsealed moves. I dig it. I like it. He just got fatal card. He's fucking dead. He doesn't finish the combo. Now he's dead. Alright, let's see. Uh, distortion drives. There's no way! That's 15 frame startup! What did he do? I don't know. That just, I mean, that when I saw that, it struck me as like something that really shouldn't have happened. And looking at this frame data, it still strikes me as something that probably shouldn't have happened. Oh, fuck. Oops. Holy crap, this Susano color is obnoxious. Good block. Mashed. Got fatal, no hit. That feels so bad when you, I mean, especially with Kagura. Like, how rare is it to land severe hits? Excuse me, to land severe hits like that with this character. You gotta make it count. Damn, again, that's the second fatal counter now. Come on, son. I'm gonna put on a button after that. His 5D. This cog. Actually, I guess there are. Maybe Kagura wouldn't really be able to do that because all of the buttons that would work at that range are so slow that Susano would actually win despite the fact that he is pretty negative after uh, his drive moves. Round start 2 C against Kagura? Interesting. Yeah, see, like, he micro dashed. Most characters would hit a button and punish him there, but like I said, I don't think Kagura. All of his fast buttons have no distance whatsoever, and the buttons that do are mad slow. Here we go, he finally has an opportunity to do damage. Susano's too fat. Ooh, the delayed double overhead. I don't actually, I think that's an overhead, but I'm not actually 100% positive. Not enough Kagura players to be 100% sure. Plus, that's a new move in Central Fiction, I think. Have I even played a Kagura in Central Fiction? Jesus, I can't even remember. Cause I know I have a few Kagura players that watch, but I can't remember if I played them since uh, Chrono Phantasma. And while I was pondering the mysteries of the Kagura universe, he just popped out a 4500 damage combo and shit all over Susano right there. It's really only been 18 minutes. It feels so much longer than that. Oh, this gets caught by the drive. Interesting. Look a little awkward. That could have been big if that hadn't traded. Good anti -air. Rachel definitely has one of the better anti airs in the game. Very difficult to. Like, it just has so. It reaches so damn high. And it's a pretty fat hitbox, too. That sounds so wrong. Like, it's, there's just such a high-pitched tone, like keening in the background, and it just... It doesn't sound right. Wow, that ground bounce was enormous. George coming over to fuck this dude up. Yeah, how would that work, actually? I don't think there was any actual wind there, but I feel like it would be really easy to screw over all, pretty much everything Jubei can do with proper application of win, because, like, you have no... Oh, he got hit! See what I mean, man? His powered-up drive sucks! I'll try to do the same round star. Got punched in the face by a Lobelia. 
really? Tried to overdrive, but got caught. That is one of the main risks of trying to overdrive on after a tech. It can be very easy to get caught by something uh, in the early frames and get a burst instead. Which obviously is no fun whatsoever. And now he, yeah, he's gonna get zoned the hell back. He's. That's what happens when you have a character with basically no real neutral against a character with monstrous neutral. Sad times await. Why did I download this match? What in God's name is this Lambda's name? But who Maru Maru Maru? I do. You think is it Batum Maru? Or is it Batum Maru? No, it has to be Batum Maru because otherwise the name, the full name would end with an M. Meanwhile, Akiba Ninja not acting like much of a ninja. A ninja would avoid stuff. They'd use their stealth and their mastery of movement to not get bodied like that. Jesus. Okay, that's a better start. Yeah, he can't do anything else. Well, can he? Can he, like, jump and do a, uh, a chain after that? If he lands it raw? Because I know so much about Hazuma. <laughs> Are we really going to do a reverse perfect and it's going to be because of a purple throw? God damn it. God damn it. Damn it, this is sickening. Okay, no triple perfect. What the f <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> That looked so weird! I've never seen that kind of aerial movement after chains before! It's caught not attacking. Really bad Oki. Oh. Wow, she really likes that move. She just did the same thing like four goddamn times in a row, and now she's dead for it. Jesus. Leader gameplay, by the way. The wheel of fate is dead. One action. Make it up for it with that combo, though. Oh! Doesn't do a fatal specific confirm, though. That's a damn shame. That was a pretty optimistic command grab. I don't think that was even anywhere near being in range to begin with. Regardless of whether or not she jumped. Oh my lord, she's dead. Oh, boom. God damn. She got caught by a lot of fatal counters. I think it was two, but still, that's a lot in one round. Especially against Kagura. She's just getting caught, man. Like, use your movement, use your neutral to your advantage. Yeah, she's just getting hit. Over, like, over and over, she's just getting hit. There's nothing you can really say about it. There's no way that kills, right? Please, for the love of... Okay. <laughs> I was just saying, like, what does he know that I don't? I guess this overdrive was probably about to run out, so just take the extra damage. Wasn't going to kill regardless. Uh-oh. 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 Is she ever really gonna run it back? She's gonna run it back! Oh! <laughs> the balls! 
I have to assume that was a 2B right there. Just no fear whatsoever. Fuck your giant sword. You can't put it close enough to the ground. I'm a low profile that. Holy. Oh no. That's a bad start. That makes it better. Drop your shit, man. Get the lamb, DQ. Wait, what? So, the first hit of that move is just a normal cast. It's just no. Oh, he's dead. That's not just gonna hurt. He's dead. That combo could still keep going, too. Like, that's not. Oh, that's disgusting. So, I guess the first hit of that move is just a normal counter hit, and the second hit is a fatal? That's a strange design. Kick to the face. Falcon High doesn't get much for that anymore, though. Midstream Falcon High is very, very limited. Overhead. Really awkward. That drops the combo. That was the kill. So many dropped combos in this video. I guess that's kind of the, just the nature of online in general. Oh, yeah, he's got a shield for a bit, get enough wolf meter back to run something. Oh, or just catch him with the raw super. That works too. Wow, with the disrespect rapid cancel too. I dig it. <laughs> nice hitbox. <laughs> Art system works, by the way. The combo that just dropped combos left and goddamn right. More dropped combos, more bad neutral. Just another day in the online world of anime games. Probably could have whiff punted. Oh no, he doesn't really have any wolf meter. Try to whip punch it. Nice, Antia. More showcasing of the wonderful world of online. <laughs> it's a good thing. Oh no, he's dead now. Person, okay. What's the round? He's dead. That's a damn shame. And he starts the round, the next round with zero. If Naoto picks up momentum, he can run the train on him in this round, and he'll never get his burst back. That hurts. Dropped combo, come on, son! Oh shit! So many dropped opportunities. So much damage left on the table. I mean, see, he doesn't, he just got to halfway back, getting his burst back. I mean, he's one hit away from death. He's not getting his burst this round. He's dead. Okay, he should have been dead. You think I would have learned my lesson from watching this entire match? Like, they're gonna drop it. Of course they're gonna drop it. He's gonna get, he's actually gonna get his burst back. God damn it. <coughs> oh, good attempt at the whiff punish right there. Try to make him, uh do something like a DP. Whoa! <gasps> Doesn't whiff punish him! Doesn't confirm the hit! <sighs> At least try to do something first. I mean, I know you wanted some wolf meter back, but he still had half of it. At least try to get something going. Oh my lord, this is just so... Both awkward and tense at the same time. Like, neither one of these players really has any gameplay. They're just running around flailing buttons. And now to wins it. God damn it. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Peace.